the unseen force of a prayerful life. And I want to talk about a, hindi unseen force of prayer. It's a prayerful life. Hindi yung prayer na pabugso-bugso na pag nasa Winwatch, magpe-pray, o oh, powerful ang prayer ko. Pero do you have a prayerful life? Amen. Is it a lifestyle of prayer? And kasi nag Okay. And um uh, my purpose my, my purpose tonight is to really encourage you to be to have a prayerful life. Hindi yung pray pray lang pagkakailangan. A lifestyle of prayer. Sabi nga, di ba, pray unceasingly. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Wala lang na, kunyari, um, sa bawat occasion, pagising mo, ay Lord, thank you. Ang dami ko palang gagawin. Lord, in Jesus' name. O sometimes, uh, ako pag nanonood ako ng TV ngayon, ng, ano, ano yun, yung mga, sa, 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 ano, sa, sa Netflix. <laughs> sa, sa Netflix. Sa, sa, yung mga, ano, in Jesus name may pa lay hands lay hands pa ayun yung praying unceasingly right and kami ni pastor Esther we really pray pag hindi ba we pray three times a day breakfast lunch and dinner hindi ano hindi ang prayer na minsan nakakalimutan ko na mag thank you sa food eh kasi that's the time na imagine we're agreeing in prayer Lord, in Jesus' name, and karamihan ng mga names, lahat mga taga, win watch LGI, yung mga prayer requests, yung mga may sakit, dun yun sa bago kumain. So, I suggest you can, that's a prayer lifestyle. I suggest you do the same thing. Don't waste your time uh, praying every meal time and just saying, Lord, thank you for this food. And you know what? It's so strange. I always hear this strange thing. And bless the hands who prepared it. Oh my. You know, like, you're in a restaurant. No? You're, bless the hands of prepare. How about, well, anyway. So, uh, it's an expression, I think, that, that bless the hands of prepare. It. But, uh, so please try to be more serious about our prayers. More, let's think about it when we pray. Hindi yung, ano lang, no? Yung expression lang or nakasanayan lang natin sabihin. Okay, so sitet, excited for the message. Well, the message tonight is really just, uh, alam nyo na ito eh, but uh, in my heart, I wanted to, I hope, uh, encourage you to make it a lifestyle. Can you pray to the Lord right now and say, Lord, I want prayer to be my lifestyle. A lifestyle. Meaning, you are going to be serious about it. You have to have a prayer notebook. You have to have different kinds of prayer style or, you know, like, uh, nagsawa na ako, ayoko na ng ganit devotional na ganito, ganyan, ganyan, kahit na yung devotional natin kami ni Pastor Chris. But right now, I'm doing book. Lord, talk to me. Kasi nag-book studies na ako, di ba? So, alam ko na yun. But, this time, I'm using the books chapter by chapter as a quiet time uh, instrument. Lord, speak to me through Isaiah. Nasa Isaiah na ako ngayon. Speak to me through Isaiah. Ano natapos ko yung Nehemiah. Natapos. I- iba. Ibang dating. Hindi Bible study yung ginagawa ko, but I'm asking God to talk to me personally this time. But at the same time, na nare- nare-review mo ulit, right? So this happened to be my quiet time. One of my quiet times. So nasa Timothy ako. So Pastor Chris, you chose Timothy. <laughs> you know, na- it's so strange. That's the main text that we have. So it's really confirmed. So, <clears throat> uh, so, so I, I have four points. Nanandun sa verse. Gratitude, request, intercede, pray. Ang point to dito, I want to use the, the ano yung acronym ba tawag nun? G-R-I-P. Grip, like take a grip on God's heart or something. So, ay, ayun ang nandun na no, sa verse. Gratitude, request, intercede, pray. And we will try to learn how to do that 
And can you imagine ito ang tinuro ni Paul kay Timothy when uh, he, I think Pastor Chris mentioned or somebody mentioned some time ago that ang context nito, the Christianity was just a small sect. I think about just a million baka wala pa silang one million. Ganun ka konti. No? Uh, parang kulto sa kanila yung, yung, ano eh, yung dating ng Christianity, eh, the way. Diba? So small time na small time, and yet they were existing in the Roman Empire, Roman culture at the time. Masyadong big time yung Europe and the Asia at the time. And yet, ito yung Christianismo dun sa maliit na ano ng Israel. And so, binili ni Timothy, uh, ni, ni Paul kay Timothy, Timothy, teach people how to pray. Because that's the only guarantee na mapipreserve ang Christianismo at magiging at wala tayong internet, wala tayong ball pen, wala tayong paper, wala tayong TV, wala tayong kahit ano, kundi yung scroll at saka ganun, and preaching, yun lang ang, ang tools nila. And yet, sabi ni Paul, if you do this, the prayer, it's going to be a worldwide religion. And that's exactly what happened. So, huwag na tayong lumayo. How powerful is prayer? How did you become a Christian? What did you do? You just closed your eyes and prayed. Lord, I receive. Amen. Yun lang ginawa niya. Eh, bakit na bago yung buhay niyo? So, sometimes after that experience of being born again, we forget that it was prayer that ushered you into this powerful life. Amen. So, again, tinataas ko yung prayer lifestyle para sa ating lahat. Okay, praise God dito. I want prayer my, to be my lifestyle. Ang dami dito. Amen to all of you. So the, here's the, the verse. Can we all rise? Para iba naman ngayon. As we read the word of God. Sabay-sabay tayo. No? Most of all, I'm writing to encourage you to pray with gratitude to God. Pray for all men with all forms of prayers and requests as you intercede with intense passion. And, oh, sorry. and pray for every political leader and representative so that we would be able to live tranquil, undisturbed lives as we worship the awe-inspiring God with pure hearts. It is pleasing to our Savior God to pray for them, for every political leader. During their time, they, their leader was parang worse than, parang Hitler, ganon, ang kanilang leader. So pray for every political leader. Did it change? No. God wants God wants all people to be saved and he wants everyone to know that, have, that he said that after he said pray for every political leader he wants Putin Xi Jinping everybody to be saved and then kadugtong nun, ito. There is there one God and there is only one way that people can reach God. That way is through Jesus Christ who is also a man. So I was thinking it's connected to prayer. You want to pray, you have to know this. Amen? I think that's it. Okay, let's be seated. God has already blessed us by the reading of His powerful word. So, mga kapatid, um, ano yung G? R. I. P. Galing. And this is, nakakatawa yung sabi niya dun sa verse, no? Chapter 2, verse 1. Most of all, sabi ni Paul, sa dami ng bilin niya, 
most of all, pray. So, sabihin mo sa sarili mo, most of all, pray. Yan ang number one. Now, prayer, according to William MacDonald, a pri- is a privilege and an obligation. Obligado tayong mag-pray. At the same time, it's a privilege. Imagine, you're able to... Bakit privilege? Kasi may power yung prayer natin eh. It can change the world. Parang nangyari yung kaninang sinasabi ni Pastor Chris. Tamang-tamang intro, no? We can even pull down strongholds. So, let's continue to be prayerful. Hindi yung let us pray. Let us be prayerful. Amen? And prayerful is not a religious activity. It is praying like while you're driving, you're, or you're in your uh, MRT or LRT, and you're saying a prayer to God. Amen? So let's start with gratitude. The unseen force of a prayerful life begins with gratitude. Sabi ni Paul, most of all, I'm writing to encourage you to pray with gratitude to God. Number one point, thank God who is the source of our highest good. Kaya gusto ni Paul, hindi mo pa natatanggap yung prayer, yung answer sa prayer. Thank God because you already know Do you really know that He wants your highest good? Medyo matagal yung answer, para walang nangyayari. It can be years. Meron na tayo yung nagpatutuo si Marie, di ba? Sa ilang years na hinintay yun, Pastor, ano, yung, yung promise sa kanya na magkakabahay ka? Ha? So, ten years na hinintay na. Pwede ba nangyari yun? Di ba? And biglang binili yung bahay niya, uh, ano, yung ancestral house ng ano, super million, million, million ang binayad sa kanya. Gusto ko na lang sabihin kung magkano kasi <laughs> uh, uh, astounding. Pero hinintay niya ng uh, 10 years? In, ah, kasi yung WK, kasi ini-increase ni God yung value. Kaya nag-40 million, sinabi ko na. Sorry, Marie. <laughs> Hindi ba? Ini-increase. E mano ba naman yung bahay niya? Di ba? Hindi naman ganun kalaki. Pero naka- kung, kung noon pa yon na pinagpipilitan niya kay God or nagdadabog siya kay God, ano pa naman? Nag-promise ka. Day, year one, year two, year three, year four, year five, ten years. And then biglang bumagsak. Malaki na yung amount. Kaya, all glory to God. So, thank God who is the source of your highest good. Whether there is a delay in every season, God seeks your highest good. So, I love this song and I think you know this also. Trust His heart because He is committed to you. A prayer warrior is someone who has a deep relationship with God. Pastor Charles will preach on that sa Christmas, no? Sa December. Kasi ang ganda nung ano niya dyan, no? If you, uh, a real prayer warrior is someone who has a deep relationship with God. Dapat close ka. Huwag ka na masyadong mag-ambisyon na maging warrior kung hindi ka naman intimate with God, di ba? So, sige na, ano, pakikuha mo yung mic, tantahin mo nga ito, ano? Uh, so, I had done, um, no need for <laughs> ah you don't know the song if you don't know the song it's okay. you know that, that one so when you don't understand Okay, one more time. <laughs> Amen. Okay. Okay. 
Yung mga naghihintay ng answered prayers, kantahin niyo to. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Trust His heart. He is committed to you. Amen. Ganun si God. He is a God who is a uh, who makes promises and he is committed to keep his promises. And kailangan lang marunong tayong maghintay. So, <clears throat> gratitude unlocks the door to blessings. Sabi nga sa Philippians 4.6, don't be pulled in different directions or worried about a thing. Be saturated in prayer throughout each day, offering your faith-filled requests before God with? Amen. Tell Him, gusto ko to, every detail of your life, but with gratitude. Hindi yung complaining spirit. I mean, you know, parang, ano, hindi na ako makapagliklamo, hindi. Subukan nyo. Tingnan nyo kung may mangyayari sa prayer nyo. Umpisahan nyo sa daing, sa reklamo. Sa, i-compare nyo and then try to experiment. Start with thanksgiving and you, you can tell. You'll be able to tell the difference. Ano nga sabi? If you renew your mind, you will be able to discover that God's will is good, it's pleasing, and it's perfect. Diba? So, kailangan yung mind natin will be flowing with gratitude. Yes, a prayer warrior has a deep intimacy with God. Lord, sabi ni Marisa, I don't see your plan. I trust your heart. Amen? Amen? Yan ang my gratitude. So, and miracles are attracted to grateful hearts. Pag hindi grateful, Hindi, hindi, pa, hindi siya magnetic. No? So look at this example, John 6. Jesus took the barley loaves and the fish, gave what? Thanks to God. Then he gave it to the disciples to distribute. And miraculously, the food multiplied to 5,000 and even more. Tama? And then, Father, sabi na naman ni Jesus, si Jesus to, no? Thank you that you have heard my prayer. Pero hindi pa in-answer, heard lang. For you listen to every word I speak. Then Jesus shouted, Lazarus, come out of the tomb. Hindi pa niya binubuhay si Lazarus, nag-thank you na siya. Oo. Hindi pwede, hindi pwede yung, ang Lord naman eh, ang tagal-tagal naman ako, talaga kinakalaban mo sarili mo. You will be the greatest hindrance to your prayer. Right. So, kailangan, thank you, Lord. The Jews began to sing, give thanks to the Lord. And the Lord caused their enemies to start fighting among themselves. And the Jews saw their dead bodies. Imagine, gera yan, ano? Sabi, kumanta kayo. And ano yung kanta nila? Sa dami ng kanta. Give thanks to the Lord for His love endures forever. And nanalo sila. Amen. So that's how powerful thanksgiving prayers are. So that's how we start. Especially pag malungkot ka. Especially pag desperado ka. Especially pag ka, ano ka, no? you think it's, it's hopeless. I thank you, Lord. Umpisahan mo sa ganun. Why? Because you are committed to me. Amen. Next, in letter R, request. Sabi ni Paul kay Timothy, pray for all men with all forms of requests. All men. Ayan na mga teaching on prayer. Okay, letter R. Name, what ble- how do you request? Name what blessings we want and why you want it. Wala lang. Gusto ko lang yung... <laughs> yung ano yung kanina? <laughs> huh? 
uh, what, why, merong, mama niya, may how, when. <laughs> Gusto ko lang, sorry. Uh, so, sabi dito, pray for ito na, every political leader and representative. Ang hirap nito, no? So that, but that's the key to a la, tranquil or peaceful, undisturbed life. So we can worship the awe-inspiring God with your heart. It is pleasing to our Savior God to pray for them. Is wind wa world watch pleasing to God? Yeah. Amen. Every time we are praying for our political leaders, God is pleased. So, may mangyayari ba? Sometimes, ang hirap, no? But I believe that, uh, you know, in the Philippines, there are more and more people praying. Mas pag dumadami ang Christian, eh, di ba? And tingnan yung mga nangyayari ngayon, may mga na-expose. Tama? So, when we ask with purpose, God answers with power. So, don't just pray. Kung ano, ano, dapat you should pray uh, what ano yun sa <laughs> what name what you want and why you want it para meron kaming peace lord para makakapag worship pupunta kami sa virgin bell di ba yeah. so it, its prayer invites god's influence over the decisions and actions of our leaders kaya alam naman natin yun pwede nang palitan ang isip ng ating mga leaders when we pray for them. Example. This is uh, in, in Greece, uh, three, 300 year AD. Uh, three, 300 years after Jesus was born and rose and went up. Godless Emperor Constantine of Rome conquered about one-third of the known world at its height extending across Europe, North Africa, and parts of Asia. Its territory included Britain, France, Luxembourg, Belgium, Switzerland, Netherlands, Germany, Spain, Portugal, Italian Peninsula, Greece, the Balkans, Egypt, and parts of the Middle East. Ganun ka powerful ang Rome at that time. But Emperor, God bless yon, no? But Emperor Constantine had a Christian mother, Helena, who prayed for him. And he became a Christian and officially declared Rome to be a Christian nation. And Christianity became a world religion through a mother's request. Ganyan ka powerful. We can sway the political atmosphere of our nation. Uh, and to think, Helena wasn't even there when Constantine met the Lord. Paano? Lusok tayo, may gera tayo, nagagera sila. Pag tingin niya sa langit, nakita niya may cross. Nagka-vision siya. And then he declared all over the world, magmula ngayon, every Sunday is the Lord's Day. Kaya tayo may Sunday. ba May simba. Dineclare na niya yun. So praise God, make, present your uh, request And every request is a petition. Sayang wala si Pastor Charles dito. May lawyer ba dito? See, because a prayer request is a petition like a legal document formally addressed to an authority and it offers the why. Offers reasons why the request must be granted. In the courtroom, it's called a pleading. So, dapat yung mga lawyers, marunong kayong gumawa ng pleading, ayun yung mga request and you give reasons. Bakit kailangan sabihin sa inyo, not guilty, bakit kailangan kayo palusutin, etc. So, ganyan din kay God. When you present your request, petitions to God, you're going to tell Him uh, what you want and why you want it. And, if you plead your case, you will receive His grace. Basahin nga natin. Plead His... Receive His grace. Amen? So like in Isaiah, God said, I, yes, 
I alone am he who blots away your sins for my own sake and will never think of them again. Remind me <laughs> of this promise of forgiveness. We must talk about your sins. Plead your case for my forgiving you. Go ahead. Plead your case. Sabihin nyo kung ano yung problema nyo. Ba't, ba't nyo nagawa yan? Ano nangyari? Ano nangyari? <laughs> diba? Diba? So plead your And you will receive His grace. Siya na nag invite eh. But be like a lawyer. No? You, you have to know, name what you want and why you want it. Amen? So ganito ang gagawin natin. Magpe-pray tayo. So I hope in your quiet time, Magaling kayo mag-pray. How do you pray? Number one, pray His Word so that your petitions can be heard. Okay. The example si Daniel, no? as petitioner. I, Daniel, kailangan mag-research, was reading the scriptures and then I saw what the Lord told Jeremiah. Binasa niya yung book of Jeremiah. And God said Jerusalem would be an empty desert for 70 years. So, ito pala, prophecy na pala ito, sabi ni Daniel, nandun na siya sa, sila sa Babylon. And Jerusalem was empty for 70 years. And this is the petition. I turned to the Lord God, I prayed to Him, and asked Him for help. So ngayon pa lang, I just want you to write down or put in your mind, what are you asking God for? And you have to check the Word of God. Ano pa yung magagamit ko sa salita ng Diyos? No, para mag-argue. Lord, ha? sabi mo, ha? sabi mo. Kaya nga yung mga nagtuturo na, huwag kayong claim ng claim. Pinipintasan niya nga eh, claim ng claim. Eh, it's a legal term. You have to claim. You know, it happened before. It should happen in my case. Pinalusot mo, Lord, si ganito. Dapat gagawin mo din sa akin. Amen? Mas worse pa nga, pinintasan ko. Mas worse pa nga si Peter, eh. Dininay ka, di ba? Hindi ko nga ginagawa yun, eh. Amen? Amen. Oo. Hindi, biglang marunong sa harap ni God. Sabihin ni God, ba? Marunong to mag-petition. Understand the character of God. The petitioner appeals to the judge's sense of justice and mercy. Anong sabi ni Daniel? Lord our God, you used your power and brought, brought us out of Egypt. Because of that, your name is known even today. Lord, we have sinned, we have done wrong, but Lord, you do the right things. We do not ask these things because we are good. We ask. Because of your mercy. Galing. Ano? Galing ng lawyer na to. Amen? Lord, hindi naman kami nagmamalaki. But alam ko, merciful ka. Nandito yan, ha? Sa scripture, Lord, ha? Documented. Amen? Hindi pwede niyang itanggi yun. And, so, the petitioner now cites previous agreements with God. He know the promises. So, ang sabi niya kay God, Do not be angry with Jerusalem. Do not be angry with the Philippines. Do not be angry with Israel. Jerusalem is your city on your holy hill. Lord, listen. O, oh, ba? Lord, forgive. Lord, hear us. Do something. That is the petition. And why should I do it? Well, for your sake. Don't wait. <laughs> Galing naman. Para sa'yo naman to Lord, no? Kung hinihingi ko to, for your glory. Your city and your people, see, this is the agreement, are called by your name. Committed ka, may covenant ka sa amin eh. May kontrata tayo, Lord. Na pag tumawag kami sa'yo, sasagot ka, God is committed to us. Amen. Yan ang ibig sabihin. Kaya nga, grabe si Paul eh. Sabi niya, Timothy, dapat matalino ka. So, win your case. The petitioner receives a favorable ruling. So, sabi ni Daniel, So, I was still praying. Di ba ako tapos? 
Angel Gabriel came to me. So si Angel Gabriel, ito yung kay Mary noon. Ano? Gabriel said to me, Dania, I have come to give you wisdom and to help you understand. Can you all read this with me? When you first started praying, Because Grabe naman. Diba? When you first started praying, an answer was given. O so bakit ka hintay ka nang hintay dyan? Dadating lang yun. Magugulat ka na lang. Meanwhile, mag-isip, iba, na, iba naman atupagin mo. Wag na, alisin mo na yung isip mo doon. Amen? Because God loves you very much. So, na, na save yung Jerusalem because God loved the prayer warrior very much. So if you feel the love of God, you can pray and you can be sure. So sabihin mo, Lord, I know you will answer because you love me very much. So ito na, magiging intercessor ka na. Intercede. So ano naman difference nito? Kaya nga na, na ano ako, pinagkripan ko eh. Kasi ano kayo? But apat apat sila sabi dito ni God. Ano kayo mga di- para sa akin pare-pareho lang yan ano? But iba intercede no. Sabi ni God, pray for all men as you intercede with intense passion. Kanina request no. Ngayon inter- it is pleasing to our savior God to pray for them. So know how to ask for those who can't. Ayun ang intercession. Diba? Yung hindi nakakapag-pray, hindi kilala si God, ay ikaw na ang mag-ask. Amen? So tonight, yan ang gusto kong gawin natin, yung mga loved ones natin, yung mga hindi makapag-pray, naiinis ka, ay hindi nga nila alam eh, kaya tayo na lang ang magpa-pray. Sabi nga ng yung song, Lord, let me carry your people in my heart. Carry the people in our heart. Sabi sa James, tremendous power is released through the passionate, heartfelt prayer of a godly believer. So please, take advantage later. Because every prayer, kumisan di ba hindi natin feel yung prayer natin? Parang, parang, Lord, ang layo naman dun sa isip natin. Yung bibig lang natin gumag. But that's powerful. It doesn't matter. All kinds of prayer. Amen? Just have a prayerful life. And for our sake, God will respond. Yun ang intercession. God will not respond to that person because that person doesn't love God. That person cannot pray. But you are praying, you are interceding, and God will respond. For so we will pray, uh, isulat niyo dyan sa chat, for our sake, prayers. Yeah, we will risk, pray for, Lord, you have to answer for my sake. Para sa akin, wow, lakas ng loob, no? Amen? Ayun ang close kay God. God has great respect for the intercessor. Look at this. Sabi ni God, my servant Job will intercede for you. Yung mga fools. And I will respect him. God is respecting us right now because we're interested in intercession so, so that I do not deal with you as godless fools. Dito mo, makini, or kayong mga godless fools, hindi kayong marunong mag-pray. But Job, I respect him and the moment he prays for you, I will answer. Ganong kalakas ang ating prayer. Yes, for your sake, Sheila. So pray, For my sake prayers. Can you say for my sake prayers? prayers. Okay, in Romans 11 verse 28, it says, From the standpoint of the gospel, they are God's enemies. But from the standpoint of God's choice, they are beloved. Why? For the sake of their fathers. So sabi ni God, parang siguro nangyari sa akin, no? Sa buhay ko, no? Sabi nga sa akin, may nagsishare sa akin, you know, you will go to hell with all this, ano, adultery, wildlife, and all that. Oh, I'm in hell right now, and I love it. Ano yun? Drag me to hell. <laughs> oh, 
Hindi kayo nakikinig sa ng news ha. Hindi. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi, yung, hindi, yung sabi niya. <laughs> okay. So, sabi ni God, kahit na ganoon, kahit na yun ang sinabi, pag nag-pray ka, for the sake of the Father. So, ganun ako, but you know, my grandparents and my parents are so prayerful. Sinagot ni God, hindi ako, sila ang sinagot ni God. Ganyan ka-powerful ang prayers of intercession. You pray for those who cannot pray. Amen. And God will answer for, sabi mo, for my sake. Okay. So look at another example in Isaiah. God said, I promise to defend this city and protect it. What thou? For the sake of David, my loving servant. Wow. So mag-isip-isip na kayo. God said, In Psalms, I will extend my mercy and not destroy the city, sabi niya kay Abraham, for the sake of ten righteous men. So, let's take advantage of the for my sake prayer. Lord, hindi marunong mag-pray yun. Ayaw ka niya, Lord, pero for my sake. Ibalato mo na sa akin, Lord. Sabi ni God, sige na nga, for your sake. O ako lang, sabi ni God. Nanggigigil na ako. Godless fools. Amen? But I respect Job. <laughs> I respect Rida. I respect Pastor Esther. I respect Pastor Dan. Nire-respeto tayo ni God tuwing nagpe-pray tayo para sa godless fools na kilala natin. Amen? So, pasalamat sila. Kaya may mercy pa si God dahil sa atin. Okay, somebody said here, uh, si Seth, no, Lord, Lord, answer my prayer for my sake because you love me. I am your daughter. Uh, yes, kulang ka, Seth. Because you love me very much, sabi ni Pastor Wen, dagdag mo daw yun. Very much. So, ipagsama-sama na natin. You love me very much. Diba? Awesome. So, ang galing. Ang galing nyo. And last, pray. So, G, R, no? Yung G, gratitude, R, request, I, P, pray. Pray for all people. Ay, ang sipag natin dapat mag-pray. May prayer list tayo. May lahat. Bring everything. Ayun yung prayer lifestyle. Ma Mahilig ka mag-pray. There is only one God and there is, the on there is only one way that people can reach God. Through Jesus Christ. That's the reason. Sabi ko, ba't kaya dinagdag to ni Paul? Because that's the reason why we pray in Jesus' name. No, he, he, that's why he said, pray, 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 intercede, request in Jesus' name. Because there is only one mediator between God and man. Isa lang. And prayer, it unleashes And unleash Christ's power when, I mean when, when we pray because we leave a prayer legacy. Ang hilig natin mag, ano kayo may iiwan ko? Leave a prayer legacy for the ones we love. Look at this in Hebrews. Jesus is able to save fully from now throughout eternity. Everyone who comes to God through him because he lives to pray continually for them. Ano ko lang to, Rayma, nag-Rayma lang sa akin na, Lord, kasi nahirapan ako sa letter P. <laughs> ah, ano kayang, but grabe, if si Jesus is praying for us now that He is in heaven. So what does that mean? Every prayer has power kahit na wala, hindi ba nag-pray siya sa Gethsemane? Wala na siya dito, pero umaandar pa yung power ng prayer niya. Kaya ganyan tayo, eternal ang power ng prayer natin. Amen? So every time you pray in Win Watch on Monday, eternal yon Tuesday, Wednesday, yung blessing nandun pa, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday uli, Tuesday uli, Sunday uli. Grabe, because that is the nature of prayer. It is eternal. That's why every time you pray, in Jesus' name, you unleash His 
prayer, I mean, His power, leaving a prayer legacy. So, ngayon pa lang, lalo na yung mga magulang, iniisip natin, ano kaya maiiwan namin sa aming mga anak? Education? Um, pera sa bangko? Mga kapatid, prayer legacy, yun, alam niyo ba, my mom, she was a, uh, na, namatay mother niya, baby pa siya, and then lumaki siya sa mga a, kapatid niya, dad, extremely poor sila, but yung father niya became the first evangelist in Bicol. First, in, 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 yeah, the first Filipino evangelist. It's in history books. That's the ma- father of my mom. And do you know that he told my mom, uh, I'm going to leave you with your sister. Uh, I'm not, this is the last time you'll see me because I'm going all over the Philippines to preach the gospel. And this is all I'll give you. Hard-boiled egg. Pabaon niya sa mami ko. Hindi makalimutan ng mami ko, no? Hard-boiled egg. And so, akalain ba niya? So he wrote a prayer in Spanish, eh. Hindi marunong mag so, A prayer for my mom na- nakasulat. And do you know that sa lahat naman, ang napangasawa ng mami ko, yung dad ko, na ang tatay, eh, bishop. <laughs> Di ba? Di- siya evangelist, ito naman, bishop ng, ng, sa Philippines. Methodist Church. So imagine that, so the, because of the prayer, wala akong maipapabaon sa'yo. Ipinala, pinanalangin niya ang mami ko. And even kami, you know, like who would ever think na because of the prayers of my parents, who would ever think na eto ako, Nagda-drive ako, pauwi na. Ay, sawang-sawa na ako sa buhay ko. Gusto ko na mapray. Ibabangga ko na yung kotse ko. Bakit bigla ko na... Teka, hindi pa ako nag-pray kay Jesus. Sabi nila, pag nag-pray ka daw kay Jesus, may mangyayari. Mag-pray mo na ako. Sabi ko, kung wala mangyari, tsaka na lang ako papakamatay. Paano nangyari yun? Because umaandar yung prayer eh. So kahit na mamatay na tayo, yung mga prayers... Prayer legacies natin. Umaandar yan. Amen? So, ang ano ko lang, maging masipag tayo talaga mag-pray. Leaving a prayer legacy. So, we leave behind the unstoppable force of prayer in Jesus' name. It's unstoppable because Jesus is praying in the heaven. So, ito yung prayer legacies. The petitioner receives a favorable ruling. Sabi nga, repent and each of you be baptized in the name of Jesus for the forgiveness of your sins and you will receive the gift of the Spirit for the promise is for you and your children and all who are far off. Malayo man sila uh, physically o yung puso nila malayo sa akin kahit anong nangyari, you will re- they will receive. The promise is for them. Amen. Grabe. Amen. So, leave a prayer legacy because it echoes through eternity. Amen. Amen. It echoes through eternity. Hindi sayang. Walang sayang. Walang pupulutin dito sa wind watch na panalangin. And lastly, this is our uh, summary. Thank God in gratitude, let's all read it. Thank God who is the source of our highest good. Request, name, and why. Intercede, know how to ask for those who can. Pray, unleash Christ's power when we pray. Leaving a prayer. So, I just want you to be quiet, close your eyes. Ito lang ang gagawin natin for today. Uh, let us pray for those who cannot pray. If you have loved ones or anyone that God wants you to pray for, let us be the intercessors.